station, man. You're just laying there. Lady, get up. Get up. What's up, guys? Ovi here, and welcome to Train Station Simulator. Now, real quick, guys, before we jump into this awesome looking game, let me go ahead and give a shout out to the developers because they sent me a free key to this game to try it on the channel. And also, please remember that this game is in super duper early access, so there's bound to be some bugs and glitches and stuff like that. But with that all said, let's go ahead and jump into a brand new game here. We have an option of campaign mode, ready mode, I'm not sure what that is, mission or survive, and then endless or free. We're gonna go ahead and do endless or free. That sounds pretty cool to me. Okay guys, so here we are in our brand new little train station place here. Now I have played a little bit of this game, so I'm not 100% blind, but I don't got the full grasp of it just yet. However, this is our little train station right here. Oh, oh, the, the, the little PDA system came out. I thought the lady was gonna tell me something, but she said, nah, forget it. Okay, so on the top left here, we're gonna go to build, standard floor tile here, and we're gonna go ahead and fill all this area in with our little platform here. Get rid of the trees right here, because the trees are definitely messing up my feng shui. We're gonna fill all that nonsense in like that. Look at that. Now we're looking. Like we have a little train platform. You know what? Get, get rid of all the trees. You know what? Forget nature. Nature's not welcome in my train station. That's how I. What? Look at all my little dudes coming out the little uh, train thing. Okay, they're walking around because there's not a lot to do in my, my train station yet. Okay? Attention, please. Uh -huh. Smoking is not allowed at any time. Sm smoking is not allowed. Okay. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Smoke is not allowed at the train station. I understand. Okay, so we got our little train platform here. It's looking pretty nice. Pretty nifty. Now we're gonna do a standard wall here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there we go. Wall like that? Okay. Whoa. Hold on. Rotate the wall. No, no, no. That, that's wrong. Game, what are you doing to me? Okay, guys. So check it out. We got ourselves a little confined space here. Uh, please ignore this corner right here. I. It's driving me crazy too, guys. Okay, I'm about to delete my entire YouTube channel. I just can't deal with it right now. But uh, instead of doing that, I'm gonna make a large door. I'm gonna make a large door like right there. That's an exit door. Wait, I want an entrance door. Maybe it goes like this. How do I, I want an entrance door, please? Not an exit door. Oh yeah, cause they're exiting. That is the exit door. What am I doing? Okay guys, check it out. So now people can actually come into our train station and leave. Oh, <gasps> this person has requests. Her bladder is completely overfilled guys. She is about to pop at the seams. Okay, we need to get some bathroom facilities down like lickety split here, whoa. That's big bathroom. Rotate the bathroom. Bathroom goes in the corner, away from everything else. Okay, lady, the bathroom's up and running. Get in there. Get in there and do your business, lady. You you gotta go. You better not pee on my... They, they will pee on the ground. I will have a flood of urine going through this place soon if I'm not careful here. Okay, let's go ahead and give ourselves a ticket machine. I'm thinking a ticket machine goes right at the front there. I think one ticket machine is probably enough right now because we don't really have a lot of people yet you know so one ticket machine should do just fine now obviously guys when you're waiting for a train you're gonna want to have some nice benches so we're gonna go ahead and put six benches down that's really gonna up the comfort of our place if you know what i'm saying people need a place to sit okay what can i do about it now if you look over here to the left side of the screen there are a lot of other things we have build objects you know we can do snack foods and stuff like that facilities as you just saw the bathroom oh uh, we can do employees you know, cleaning manager, a police officer, a medical personnel in case somebody is like dying. But I don't see any dead people yet. I do see a lot of garbage out here though. So that's pretty bad. And then we have a construction worker for maintaining cracks in a like sidewalk and fixing other train related issues. However, the main thing we need to focus on now is city transit. Okay. We're going to need like a, um, like a bus stand or a taxi stand or a, let's see here. A commuter bus station generates 10 to 20 passengers per hour. Attention, That's pretty good. So we're gonna stick the uh, bus thing out there like that. And then if you click on it, there should be a way. Ah, check mark all these. That means that every 30 minutes or so, 10 to 20 people are gonna be showing up, you know, to ride, to ride my trains, which is pretty good. That's exactly what we want here. Yeah, all this, all this. Yep, 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 yep. Check it all, boys. Now, I don't know why you would not check this. It seems likely that you would want to, but uh, what do I know? You know, I'm not a, someone just had maximum food and thirst. They need their foods. Okay, a lounge bar. Whoa, that's big. 
Whoa, Nelly Nelly. Is that backwards? Eh, maybe. But that's fine. You know, they come into the train station and they have a little lounge, have a little drink on the house, get a little drunk. Because everybody wants to be drunk when you're riding a train. Now, so guys, I'm not too sure where to put this food station here because it, it's so close to the bathroom that I don't think it's going to fit there. But if I rotate it like this, I'm like one tile, I'm like sticking out one tile too long. So what I might have to do here, can I, can I not, you know what, put it, th put it there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to change the exit up a little bit here. Whoa. Some people just came in and started beating on my, my ticket booth machine. And now we don't longer have a uh, ticket booth. We need, we need cops. We need some employees here. Police officer Butch T. He's a single 29 year old. Get up in here, dude. The passenger terminal will be closing in 30 minutes. Yeah. The I know. Will reopen Shut up, lady. I'm busy here. Eight. Okay, so I kind of fixed the wall a little bit. Um, whoa, is that a dead body? There's a dead body laying here for a second there. Do you guys see that? That's pretty crazy. Um, so I fixed the wall here. I moved the exit up closer over here. We have a food court, a bathroom, and a lounge, and a bunch of benches here. Now, I'm thinking the one thing we're really missing, though, is some nice plants. Plant, plant. Ah, uh, you know what? Delete that one. That one's stupid. And then rotate this one here. There we go. You know, oh, like that's probably better, huh? Oh, that's way better. Look at that. Okay, so day one is now complete. Um, I got to make a new ticket booth because, well, actually, can I hire someone to fix this? Let's get a uh, construction worker here. Dennis T. He's 48 years old. He's married man without any kids. He worked at a train factory and he knows everything about the rails. Whoa, dude, Dennis, get up in here, my boy. When you know, when you know, um... <laughs> An EMT lady, too. We're going to go with the 27-year-old single dude from Long Island. He sounds pretty cool. And I guess I should get someone to pick up the trash, too. Maybe a younger person here. Get a 20-year-old Gina. Come pick up the trash. Trash, you know? You know, have a good time. Okay, guys. It's starting to turn daytime again. So things are going to start opening up here. Would you look at that? Look at all these people in my little train station. This is looking mighty fine, isn't it? People just walking in. People walking out. Where's my um? Yeah. Is not allowed at any time. Thank okay. You. Right. So it's 6:40 a.m. right now. At 7 a.m., my little dudes are gonna be coming in here, start repairing things. So I'm gonna speed up a little bit here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Where's my maintenance lady? Look. Stop. Get get out of here, lady. Look right here, guys. This dude, James. He's fixing the machine, the ticket booth, so I can start selling tickets again. That's pretty important in a train game, I have to imagine. So let's see here. What else can I put in this place to make it really pop? You know what? Maybe, maybe more city transit. Yeah. Maybe a little, um, city link bus station. $30,000 might be pretty good. City link trolley. What's the most profitable one? I think there's another bus station. Yeah. Let's do another bus over here. Really get some people commuting here and there. Okay, guys. So I think we're doing pretty good here. If I click in the bottom left there, we get some extra stats here. Oops, not that one. That one right here. Look at the bottom of all those stars there. So in day one, which was yesterday, a platform was one star. Hold on, a PDA lady. Yeah. Smoking. Not good. Don't do it. Uh, We had a one star in platform. Kind of lame. I thought my platform looked pretty good. My comfort is five stars. Amazing. Um, On day two, however, everything stayed the same except my clean went up to five stars and my transit went up one because I added this other uh, bus station here which is pretty cool. However, I am down to $45,000. And I would really like to add more trains to my station, but trains are super expensive, guys. And I don't know how you're supposed to save up money for this. If we're going to build here, one track of standard train rails is $3,000. So if I wanted to go all the way out here, um, let me see here. That's more money than I have. This alone is over $100,000. I can't afford it. I mean, I can make a train come out to here. Like right there. Is that a good idea? I don't know. No, we're going to hold off on the train right now. As much as I want a second train to come through, we just do not have the funds for that. Guys, look, I, I hired a maintenance person and there's this, this French fries and bananas all over the street here, okay? These people are absolutely animals, man. I don't know what they're doing, but they need to calm it down because they are making a complete mess, a mockery of my place. My ticket booth is still broken. Where in the heck is my ticket booth person? You know what? Just make a new one. Make another ticket machine. And if anybody breaks it, 
to the to the drill they go. Guys, check it out. I don't have like a timetables board here. People don't know what time the stuff is going on. So we're gonna take a timetable here. Um, someplace pretty convenient, I guess. Maybe outside would be good. Okay, check it out, guys. So people, before they even get inside of here, they can come in and check out my departure schedule here. Central clock. I might need a clock, yeah. Oh, clocks usually go in the middle of train stations, yeah. That looks cool. Okay. Oh, trash cans. They broke my second ticket machine. Look at these people, man. These people are monsters. What is wrong with them? Okay, so I took away the old ticket booth machines. I'm adding two new ones. Guys, please don't break them. These things are very expensive, okay? They're 400 and they're 800 dollars a pop. And I just bought you two brand new ones. I can't be affording this stuff, okay? Stop breaking them. You know what? I'm getting a second cop. I'm getting a second uh, cleaning person. I don't need a second medical person because we're doing pretty good. We definitely need more trash cans, guys. I added two. It's not enough. There's trash everywhere. Okay, I'm being overwhelmed real quick. But boys, we need an information stand, don't we? Boom. Now we got one. Now people are going to know how to get that information in. Okay, I added a snack machine down here up against the wall. I don't think I can rotate the camera, so I can't you know, get a good view of this. We got garbage everywhere. This place, we got a dead person in the middle of the train station, man. She just laying there. Lady, get up. Get up. She's not dead. She's taking a nap. I saw her. She brought out her blankie. We need a telephone so I can call my parents and tell them how bad I'm doing at this game. So I'm added, I just added three more sets of trash cans, okay? That has to do something for us. A food truck in the middle of the train station? Is that what people do nowadays? No, I think the food truck goes outside. We need more platform here. This all needs to be platform. Boom, that's looking pretty good. That's looking good. Food truck be bros. There we go, a little food truck out here. I think the train station is really coming along, guys. I feel like I kind of, you know, I went in really fast and gung-ho, and I kind of built this really fast. I've only been recording for 20 minutes, and this is what I've gotten. I'm killing it today. So let's see. If we're looking at the bottom of the screen there, my information is now three stars. My platform is still one. Transit one, clean is zero. That has dropped off the face of the earth, but tomorrow it's gonna be better. Our comfort is five stars and our size is one. Okay, I can see our size being pretty, pretty small. I get that. So what else can we really add here to really, you know, buff up the uh, tra Christmas tree? Christmas tree right in the middle. A photo booth? Everybody likes to get photos in the, the train station. That's why I go to train stations. Oh, right there in the corner, too. Right there. Perfect spot for it. Okay, guys, we're going to add like a little uh, fruit station here so people can buy some healthy fruits and vegetables. What was that? I don't know what just happened. Something beeped. I think things are going well. A little fruit stand right here. I attract people to my place. Okay, things are, I think, so much repairing things or re fixing things or something like that. But look how many people are up in here now. Now we need a shoe shine place. I've always seen shoe shine places inside of train stations. So. That goes right next to the potty. It's so much already getting there. Sue Shine. Oh, $40. I saw that. That was awesome. And maybe a ticket booth as well. That's $15,000. Never mind. Cut it out, OB. You ain't get that amount of money. You ain't that rich, my boy. Calm down. So really and truly, guys, that's probably all I can afford right now. We have to wait for some money to come in now. But uh, it looks like my income for today alone has already been over twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000 now. It's really going up. Yesterday, I made $24,000. So we're doing really well. I just need to let the game progress a little bit so I can save up more money. Guys, look how many passengers I had yesterday. We did so fantastic yesterday, man. We had 38 travelers, 35 passengers, six vandals. Not too good. And 19, 19 emergencies? No, 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 no. I saw that. There were people kicking my stuff, man. Um... My cop isn't on duty. How do I close the doors at night? I don't want people just walking around my train station kicking my stuff at night. That's ridiculous. Okay, yeah, come on in, everybody. Come on in. Buy some things. Look around. Buy some things. Have a grand old time. I built this for you guys. Not for me, for you guys. So right now, the only thing I can really increase is possibly my transit. That's probably the only thing I have money for. So let's try to get some uh, taxi transit, maybe. That's $10,000. Do it. Why not? Live your dreams, you know? And maybe I should also get some bicycle parking too because I see a lot of people on their bikes. Uh, that goes right there. Did it work? Oh, I don't have enough money. That's 25 grand. That's a bit expensive, isn't it? 
But I think having two buses in a taxi, look how many people are coming in now, guys. That's a lot of people. Whoa. Guys, I hate to say it, but I'm going to need some more cleaning people here. At Douglas and Daisy, two more. Get up in here and help Attention, out. Please. This is a this disgusting is mess. Look at this. If you see anything Literally you garbage see everywhere. Anything. So my cleanliness has gone from five stars to zero. It's ruined. Everything's ruined. We'll okay, guys. Now we're up to $49,000. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a nice little bike thing. Boom. That's looking pretty good. Look at her. She's like, oh, I'm so excited here. I can't wait to park my bike here. Yeah, I'm excited to watch it. I can't wait to watch you park your bike. I love it. Now look how clean the floor is too. All my managers and stuff like that. Walking around cleaning things. It's looking hot and spicy up in here, boss. Anyways, guys, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and call this one. We're going to have to spend some time here. I'm probably going to have to sit here AFK and just let the game run. So I can go ahead and build up a ton of money. So we can start getting our second train track going. Um, I have not decided if I'm going to be doing a second video on this or not. Right now, it's kind of just a, you know, a first look thing. But if we get like a ton of likes, like 300 likes or something crazy like that, I'll go ahead and, you know, make this into a series. So you guys let me know what you want. You know, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more, hit that thumbs up button as I do really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of Train Station Simulator. And I'll see you in the next one.